What is up guys? Welcome back to the Clawboss channel. So yesterday on the channel, I posted a video talking about the future of the Clawboss channel and it was very well received by all of you watching. And I also talked about how we went on a road trip back in April of this year when the pandemic first started. We went from New Jersey all the way out to California. We had originally had plans to fly out there for spring break, but then Corona hit, so we had to change our plans and instead we decided to drive. We documented the entire journey through this camera and we filmed it all for you. And I asked, should we post the videos on this channel and overwhelmingly a lot of you guys said that you would love to watch those videos if you guys want to help out the channel for future videos and future explorations you guys can donate via venmo or cash app those are both clawboss and j and we also have a patreon page patreon.com slash clawboss where you guys can become a member and help us bring you future content that is awesome and amazing we appreciate all you guys and anybody who donates you guys are going to have a list where you get a shout out at the beginning of every video and every single Patreon patron that donates to our Patreon is also going to get a shout out every single video. So this is the beginning of that series. I originally filmed at the end of March in 2020. Here is part one of our trip to California. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a pretty exciting road trip. You know, as you guys know, there is a, uh, I'm going to call it a bug in uh, New York City. And it's pretty bad and it's spreading south to new jersey where we live so what are we doing getting the hell out of here come on we're getting the hell out we gotta go come on we have a we have a very very long long drive ahead of us what are we looking at joe six hours six yeah uh try like 40. we're gonna be hitting the road we have two th no two thousand four hundred and something miles ahead of us not bad, not bad. so uh let's just get going So we're approaching, uh, if you guys remember the previous videos we did, the Sidling Hill Tunnel, the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike Tunnel, we're actually about to cross over top of it. If you guys look at the GPS right now, you're gonna see it coming up here on our left. So if you guys look right here, this is actually where we parked right there, and we walked this entire length from this big spot right here all the way up, and you guys will see how far right we actually walk. So there. picture, yeah, walking from like, right here like this is as far as we walk this is insane three yo my ears are kind of popped two <laughs> one oh happy new we're year we're going right over top of it right now so right underneath us literally is where we right walked. underneath us is where we were so yeah that's pretty cool we have a long way to drive so uh let's get driving <laughs> In Oklahoma City, we got my Oklahomies. What about the Paxton Mobile? I still don't know what that is. Stop Paxton asking. Right here. Again? Should we go to Wakita? I don't know what that is. It's when they film the movie Twister. Oh, I like that. I love that movie. That's the movie that made me like Ram Trucks. Then um, we'll go there and make your dreams fulfilled. Yeah! You know what? It's going to be like make a wish, kid. You're going to get your wish. Is this not how this thing works? I think I'm in it wrong. I don't think that's National Highway Transportation oh, Board approved. Oh. All right, so it is, uh, well, I guess, I guess technically still day one but technically day two on the road. Uh, we've made it to Indiana, which is pretty much like Ohio. It's really boring. If you guys are from Indiana or, or uh, Ohio, I feel bad for you because it's literally freaking cornfields. I don't know how much longer I can do this for. <laughs> lose my patience. There's only so many lines on the road I can see. Line, 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 line. Like, why? Why is it there? Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't wait to reach a. Uh, I honestly can't re wait to reach a state that has like a desert. Cause at least the desert is fun. You can get out and like, like stretch your legs. There's not many know, people. Like, like eat the sand and stuff. Eat, eat the sand. Eat. You don't do that. No. I can't use straight face. Right Oklahoma, now. where the wind comes sweeping down the plain, where the waving wheat can sure smell sweet. Oklahoma! So we just drove how many miles, Joe? I don't know, like a thousand, like a thousand over a thousand miles. Just to see this. Just to see this. Now you guys know that I am a school bus driver. Look at this. Look behind him. Look. Hold on. Wait. 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 We can't. We can't tell them yet. And I take pride in my job. I enjoy my job. Bus driver. He loves it. Look where he's at. Come on, show him. They can't wait any longer. So. You guys know that my bus was built somewhere. You guess where? Come on. Come on. And I am at the Come location Look at where so excited. my bus was built. Look at that. Look at that. Every IC bus ever built was built right here at this Look manufacturing at plant in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is the IC of Oklahoma yeah, Tulsa right bus see plant. What's it say? No trespassing. Every one of these buses right here are all brand new off the assembly line waiting to go to a school district near you. Every single one. One of these buses could be your school bus in the future. You don't know. But my yeah, bus... Look, they have like no name on them. Too. Dude, my bus one time, one time in 2011, right my bus was sitting in this lot, getting ready to be shipped to New Jersey. So 13, 14, 1500 miles to come see where my bus is made. But we're going somewhere else in the future, so that's not the only place we're going, so stay tuned. All right, so we stopped for the night in Oklahoma City, which, and if you guys have ever been to Oklahoma City, you know there's a whole lot of nothing, but check this out. Here's our view out here on the balcony of the pool and such a, such a nice, nice view of nothing. But yeah, you get a, you actually get a balcony to go out on. Nice little private balcony. There's birds poop over there. It's a nice day out. Not bad temperature. It's like 60 degrees, but yeah, this is Oklahoma. Let's get back on the road. probably can't hear very well, but we're standing on the side of the interstate. Oh my God. What? It's so beautiful. All right, guys, we're out here. Uh, the interstate's over there. We decided to hop off the interstate and hop on to good old Route 66, which actually runs parallel to the interstate. And I think I'm going to take this... Um, I think I'm just going to travel in here. I mean, I'm doing, you know, 60 miles an hour, which ain't bad. Making good time. Um, but I was noticing back there, Joe, you saw it. There's a lot of abandoned oh, places you know what that, that yeah. Lots of Stephen Jordan. That's trespassing. Oh, dude, look at this place. Oh, oh, that's a lot of. Oh, look at this, guys. Here's a, here. You know what? Since we can't really do it here, we'll just take a, a, a quick little snippet for you. Look at the old tanks, man. The old gas pumps. There you go. That's all you're getting. All right, bye. Jesus. All right, we got out. All right, I'm just gonna get this real quick, just to show you. But look at this freaking gas pump. How old do you think this is? Comment down below. I wonder if there's any dates. Do you think there's any dates? No, keep cover on tight. That's dope. There's like a little like rope too. Nothing much to see here. Look at that, dope. Yeah, it's starting. It's starting to rain. Like, look at that. That piece just came all the way off too. One last look. Bye. Bye. Back on the road. Yeah. One little lone gas station. Look at everything up there. Oh, the blink, look, the blinking light. Like cars. Got to get a picture of that. Is that. Was that like Main Street right here? Oh my God. 
So if you guys have ever seen the movie Cars, this is literally, literally what... It's like Radiator Springs. Yeah. Small town dies. Look, they all comp look, call complaining look because look. there's... It is crazy what it did. Wow, look at this. The interstate killed. Oh, look at this. Look at this old gas station. It looks like a nice little town. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, what do you call that? What that's is... A, that's an old gas station. Why is it so small? Oh my god. guys so we are at somewhere really really cool and we're about to put up the drone so here we go in three two one <laughs> does it cut myself yeah really bad how bad it's bleeding really bad show it on camera Oh, you, oh, the content! Ew. Is it bad? bad? Is it really bad? Yes. <laughs> that poor fence! Alright, let's, let's, get, let's get over to these things, though. Texas is dumb and stupid. Since you can't hear us because of all the wind, basically we just stopped at this cool railroad. Here's the audio we got though. This really cool railroad track and just decided to uh... Yep, that's the audio we got. I'm taking Joey and you guys. Joey has no idea where we're going. I don't know. Please tell me, guys. Along for a ride somewhere. We are on old Route 66 in New Mexico. And there is something I want to show you guys. What is it? it I'm not telling you. It's a surprise. So he's going to be surprised. You guys are going to be surprised unless you've already been here or you've seen it. Um, it is a lot of fun. So we're on our way to California, as you guys know. And we're stopping. You guys saw the previous videos. We're stopping at various locations along the way, making a road trip of it. You know, you got the bug going around, and uh, you don't want to get the bug. And New Jersey and New York is a big area for the bug, so we're staying away from the bug, traveling cross country, and uh, I'll catch you when we're at the spot where we're going to. So before we go to that spot, I actually made a little bit of a pit stop. This, and I love tunnels, especially ones that go underneath the interstate, which is right up here. 66 is here. I think it's 66. I'm not sure, but this is a tunnel running underneath. Whoa, what are those? I have no idea what they are. Oh, are they mud wasps? I'm kind of scared. I don't really want to go in here, but I wonder what's on the other side of this road. I don't know if we should drive through it. I just want to know what's on the other side. The other side of the road. Looks 
like it's a gate to someone's property. No trespassing. Someone lives here. Or something. Oh, there, look at that shack over there. There's a shack and a windmill. That's interesting. Kind of, kind of spooky. Not gonna lie. Alright, so we've been driving for about two hours now and we have another 10 minutes to go until we get there where we're going. Uh, it's still a secret. Joey still no, has no. no idea where we're going. Joe, where are we going? I don't know. You won't tell me. What's that up there on the road? What is that? Mars. Line, 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 yeah. line, line. You said it. Line. Line. Nothing but lines. Nothing but lines. Yeah. Line. So you still not guess what this is. We have to turn the radio oh, off. We have one minute. We have to turn the radio off. Okay. What is the road? Hold on. You'll see. So Steve had to spoil my surprise. We, but had, that's okay. we had to turn around, but uh, apparently it's on this side. Oh, I hear it. What the fuck? I hear it. It's before the thing. Are you happy? Uh, was that in many more? What the fuck was that? Nationwide's on your side? That's all I heard. <laughs> Nationwide is on your side. Did you hear that? I literally just heard that. It's like, ding, all right, so, so what it is, is it's actually it again. America the Beautiful. And it, oh, it's I, in I the road. I don't even know what that is. But we have to turn around because... Do you think it's on the other side yeah. too? Dude, they need a sign that says it. Like, I mean, It's just an Easter egg. A real life Easter. Egg. A real life Easter. Egg. You're not supposed to know. It's just like there. Like if you're just driving with the kids and you're. I barely hit it though. And you can barely see it. And then the kids in the back are like, Daddy, what the fuck is playing? All right, let's get around two of this. So right. Nope, I'll see it. Yeah, you have the 45. Put the window up. Oh, here it is. I think. Hold on. Yeah. <gasps> oh, do you hear that? I didn't hear it that time. Oh, that. <laughs> it is the Shimon is on your side. It's the same thing as. That's what I thought. Is that like a national anthem we used to have here in America or something? <laughs> it's well, a musical rumble. Strip. Why did they pick this road off all the roads in America? I have no idea. It's Route 66. Is it? Yeah. That's Route 66? This is Route 66. You're right kidding here. me. No. No? Yes. I hear it. Shoot back and park and just listen to people drive over here. <laughs> so it is 2 o'clock in the morning. We're on our way to the Grand Canyon. But in Arizona, there's one place I had to stop. One place that... A lot of you guys, even kids, probably know this location. I am standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. Such a fine sight to see. Yes, that's right, guys. From the song, Take It Easy, whether you heard the version by Travis Tripp, if you're a country fan, or if you heard the version by the Eagles, standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. Look at that. Well, I'm a standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. This is pretty dang cool man one of my favorite songs pretty cool pretty cool and right across the street they have the standing on the corner Winslow Arizona take it easy store where you can buy gifts and souvenirs but uh, because of the bug going around we can't buy any souvenirs today well also it's two o'clock in the morning the statue he never said which corner he was on and that makes me very upset so that's a fake location did they just pick that and just say, you know, let's just pick this corner and it's down this corner. You know, screw it. Did he confirm it? I was going to ask you, are you ready for the Grand Canyon? Oh, no. 